Hey everybody, welcome to another Tip Tuesday. Camping is right around the corner. I think it's only a couple of weeks away. Uh, so we thought we would talk about making your camper pretty and ready to show off at the campground. I've got Josh and Chris, my experts on this. So what I'm gonna do is get out of the way, let these two talk to you guys about some tips and tricks on keeping your camper clean and maybe even hint ways of not having to clean your camper at all. So guys, take it away. All right. Thanks, Dan. Uh, probably the biggest thing is to keep it clean on a regular basis. Uh, if you, I know there's a lot of surface area to wash, and, and it's not always uh, uh, an easy task to do. It is time consuming, but if you keep up with it on a regular basis, I would say at least monthly, um, that's going to help you out. You're going to need a deep clean a couple times a year just to get all of the grime and stuff out of there. But the problem you'll see most of the time, if you don't clean it regularly, you get dust and, and, and road grime and stuff will build up and actually settle on the roof. And then when it rains, all that water uh, rinses that stuff down off the roof. That's where you get most of your black streaks that start to form. And then if you don't get those cleaned off relatively quickly, they can start to bake in when the sun hits it and then it's a little bit uh, more cumbersome to get cleaned off there. Chemicals at home, I've heard a lot about Simple Green using that. You want mild detergents, nothing harsh on it. Uh, if you're going to use that, follow the directions and dilute it um, the appropriate amount. You'll want to probably do a test area if you're going to use some kind of chemical like that. If you're not buying an RV cleaning chemical out of the store, um, you're going to want to do a test area, kind of an inconspicuous spot, because sometimes that stuff can take the collar out of decals. Then you end up with some streaks in your decals, and then it's not going to look very good. But if you don't have the time to clean it all the time, and you need that deeper clean, we have a little bit harsher chemicals, but Chris and the guys know how to use that stuff properly um, to, to not you know, damage any of the, the surfaces on the outside. Awnings, you want to make sure you hit your awning too. Uh, sometimes that's a, a big neglected area, but you roll your awning out, you can brush it, you rinse it. You need to make sure you're going to have a day where you can leave it out long enough to dry. The, the big problem people have is rolling it up yeah. when it's wet. Uh, and then you end up seeing stainage. Stainage, uh, it, it'll discolor. If you have a white awning, you're really going to notice it. This one's black, you're not going to notice it as much. Um, you can use a bleach mixture. I don't know what the, the mixture is, but you guys dilute it with water. Yeah, we do 50-50. 50 /50. Uh, 50 /50. you don't leave it on long. This is something you're gonna spray on. Actually, we'll, we'll spray it on, roll it up so that it's not dripping all over anything else. Roll it up, let it kind of work for a little bit. It's not, it's a matter of minutes, right? Um, for best results, I would do anywhere between 30 minutes to 45 minutes, so just letting it sit, it helps eat most of it the and best then, that it can. And then you're going to want to use soap and water and wash it off, not just rinse it, but you should rinse yeah, it yeah. then soap it again. I'd say at least rinse the awning and then wash the side of the camper so the bleach isn't sitting on the camper and then just let the awning dry itself. Yeah, so that, that's very important. If you're going to wash your awning, that stuff's going to drip down and run on the sides. You don't want that to be left on the surface. Uh, so make sure you, you rinse that off. Probably hit the awning first and then you're going to go yeah, down and wash the awning first. Uh, rest of the camper. Um, another great tip you can do uh, if, if you don't have the time or, or you don't want to, to spend your entire afternoon washing the, the surface area of a camper, we have a wash bot. Uh, we run specials all the time. It's like a mobile car wash. Um, it, it's not designed to be the perfect detailer. Uh, you know, obviously when this thing's spinning around, you got stuff that's going to block it from hitting close. But it's going to knock the bulk of the dirt off for you and then you can go by with the brush or even hand wipe the rest of yeah. it. Um, keep your tires clean. Don't forget, you know, if you pull it in inclement weather, spray underneath on the frame to help keep that corrosion and, and oxidation down. Um, this one's actually a 2018 and it looks really good. It's, it's been taken care of. I think they've actually spent a lot of time cleaning it down here this week yeah. to get it in the shape that, is, that it's in. But uh, yeah, that's, that's the kind of things that you'll have to you'll have to do to keep your RV looking great for years to come. Two, two questions popped into my head while you're doing this, because I was thinking about cleaning my camper, right? Soft brushes, right? Yeah, so you brushes. can reach up high, but you're gonna wanna use a soft brush, and they pretty much sell those soft brushes anyway. It doesn't yeah. have to be like an RV specific soft yeah, brush, right? Yeah. 
Yeah. And then the other thing that came to mind is that's a really good time, especially if you have a used camper, you know, it's multiple years to check your seals and stuff, right? Right. So after you get it clean, you're going to be able to see those areas that may have opened up because, you know, whenever it's not clean, the dirt will settle in those gaps and voids and it may look like it's sealed really well still, but it's not. The water is going to show you right away when it rinses that dirt uh, away from the seals where your, your voids are and, and possible leaks in the future. So, Another great reason to keep it clean on a regular basis and not just you know once a season or, right. or whatever. We see a lot of campers come in and sit the camp down all year and then they're, they're green. <laughs> you know, there's so much stuff in the trees right. and, and different, you know, the sun's not hitting certain areas so you get some algae and mold and stuff growing. Pain the butt to wash. Uh, so you'll want to do that on a regular basis too. But yeah, uh, there's a lot of work involved in it, but you know, of course we're always happy to do it. But you can always do it on a nice sunny day with a beer in one hand and the sprayer in the other hand, right? Yeah, or if you got kids, the sprayer in their hand, and then you're just directing what you can do. What to do, yeah. So guys, you know, remember, they're just like your cars and everything else. They require regular cleaning and maintaining. You want them to look pretty up in the campground, right? Gentlemen, thank you so much for your time today. Guys, thanks for watching another Tip Tuesday. As always, if you have a suggestion, leave it down in the comments below.